Netherlands publisher confirms Omid contracted translation right of his book, but he denied liability. An apparent translation error that saw the alleged royal discriminators named in the Dutch version of Omid Scobie's new book was today thrown into doubt by commentators. Royal experts asked how it was possible to mistranslate two names after copies of the book in the Netherlands appeared to identify two royals, who were said to have expressed concerns about the colour of Meghan Markle's future son, Archie. Veteran royal reporter Phil Dampier said it was very hard to believe that this error occurred due to a problem with the translation. An expert Michael Cole speculated that it could have been a publicity stunt to sell more copies of the book. Scobie issued a statement yesterday afternoon in which he insisted it was an error in the translation in the Dutch version and he was happy that it was being corrected. But Netherlands publisher Zander Utgevers simply referred today to an error that occurred in the Dutch edition, not making any reference to a translation issue, suggesting there may be a difference in opinion as to what actually happened. The explanation of a translation error has left some commentators unconvinced, with Mr Dampier telling Mail Online today, it's very hard to believe that this error occurred due to a problem with the translation. And I've not seen the Dutch publisher claim this is what happened. How can you mistranslate two names? It just doesn't make sense. Dampier, author of the 2018 book Royally Suited, Harry and Meghan in their own words, added that we have to take everything Omid Scobie says with a pinch of salt, because he's not always told the truth in the past. He's Meghan's henchman. It's so predictable that Charles and especially Catherine have been named. Meghan has been out for blood since she couldn't convince the Queen that she's much better suited for Catherine's role. He pointed out that Mr Scobie had admitted lying about his age, adding, You have to hand it to Scobie, he's brilliant at hyping up publicity for his book. And maybe this controversy is all part of that, but it's very unfair to members of the royal family. Today it looks like Tumblr has found the proof that Scobie was responsible for contracting out the translation of his book, not the publisher. Last year, Omid announced that he'd contracted Endgame for world English rights rather than world rights, meaning the translation of the book into languages other than English would be Omid's responsibility, not the publisher's. Scobie sold world English rights to a currently untitled book set for 2023 to Carrie Thornton at Day Street. Albert Lee at United Talent Agency brokered the deal on behalf of Scobie. Carrie Thornton and Day Street, which is an imprint of HarperCollins, also published Finding Freedom. Day Street has the North American publishing rights. World English is what it says on the tin. English language rights usually split between US and UK Commonwealth. With this, you handle foreign translations yourself, although publishers will work together. World rights is the whole shebang, including translations. When it's this, the publisher then shops around for translations, and whatever the foreign publisher pays for it comes off of your advance. World English rights means he sold just English and held on to foreign translation rights. Day Street would have then sold the UK Commonwealth rights to Harlequin, but Scobie's agent would have shopped the translation rights. Which means Harlequin didn't send the manuscript to Xander, Omid Scobie's agent did, and his agent would have sent the manuscript Omid Scobie provided as a final copy for translation. Unfortunately for him, most of the major reviewers, even the US ones, are shredding his book into cat litter. It'll all be forgotten by the time Catherine's Christmas concert starts.